Greetings, dear ones. I'm Kryon of Magnetic Service. Now, there would be those here in the room that have never heard this before. Not live. And there is something different that occurs when human beings gather together of like mind. And so these small, short channelings become introductions to the energy of love. You see, there has to be discernment among you for this to work. Is this real? And we've asked this every single time. For a year and a half. I want the old soul in the room. To know that this is accurate and real. Because their discernment engine tells them. And not because they're simply supposed to believe it. The process which is channeling is changing. My partner knows this. I warned him it would. Incrementally he has made the shift so that it would work in a new energy. And those who would then follow the messages and have been listening and reading for decades, they know the messages are different. There has been a lifting ever so slightly of the veil that would allow a clearer communication between that which is the creative source which is God and you from one side of the veil to the other. The consciousness which is the man in the chair, my partner Lee, steps aside. Now he's here. And with free choice, he has honed this process for himself. For himself. That allows him to step aside and watch. Every single channeler on the planet has his unique process. There is no right and wrong way to do what you see here. But I want to tell you that what you see here is available to all of you. Not to sit in front of a, an audience and have a seminar, not that. But the ability to sit and be open to direct communication from the other side of the veil. You got anything you want to know about yourself? Things that are open for you to ask. Not the kinds of questions that we cannot answer because you must develop the answers. But the kinds that you want. The map that you have desired for so many years that would help you to know what's next. What to do. How to feel it. How to heal yourself. How to act. How to get out of fear. How to feel comfortable. With the newness of this. Or all of these are answerable. But it's going to take you doing something that is uncomfortable. You're going to have to trust that inside you which you really doubt. And every single old soul in the room is guilty of this. Because this is old energy for you. Can't be helped. This is how you were trained. It is how you learned. It is your reality. To doubt that this is real. And suddenly I'm going to tell you something. That the very energies that were so wispy in the past. And it would come and go in the past. And it was so obscure in the past. Are going to clear up. But that's going to be only if you allow them to. 
And so you're going to have to approach these things differently. How many of you are still going into meditation with an attitude of, God help me? <laughs> God help me. I'm sitting here and I need help. And if you're going to approach the situation like that, you're not going to get a good answer. You're going to get an intellectual judgment of what you think you heard from God. <laughs> Why not relax? As you breathe, you take in the energy of all that is and know that you have lived so many times. This, this life, right now, the decisions you're going to make, the, the things that you'd like to know, the drop in the bucket of who you really are. This is just a bump in the road. And so you relax with it. And you say, Dear Spirit, Tell me what I need to know. And you don't explain the issues to God because God's with you the whole time. Now you've heard this before, but never in this context. It's just been words before, and now we are inviting you to drop into the core of who you are, the God inside, and leave everything else that is 3D behind. And you're going to find there is a new energy of acceptance. We have told you that there is a handout, which is your higher self, saying, isn't it time you met me? Really met me? Really met me? A soul which is forever inside you, who knows you're Akash, who knows all about the creation of the universe is part of you. And that is a tool of information and guidance and health and long life that you have held away from you all your life. Oh, you say you haven't. But you have because the old energy made you do that. The new energy is like it's opening up opening up. Drop into a core you haven't experienced before. Expect to go deeper than you've gone before and to get answers that you haven't been able to get before. But you're going to have to leave all the doubt behind. Do you believe that there is a creative source that is eternal inside you and you have to answer that yes or no and if your answer is I'm not really sure then that's as far as you're going to go the next step is to be sure go through whatever you need for you to be sure of this and if you go on a search for it you will be sure because that is a promise we have told you this before. There is a mechanism that you're not aware of. That your body and your consciousness, your very DNA blueprint, has in it that you're not aware of. Benevolence of help. If your body and your consciousness and your spiritual DNA sees that you are searching, it's going to help you find an answer. Did you know that? It is not rolling the rock uphill anymore. There is a system inside you that is going to cooperate and pull you into truth. Pull you into truth. Now that's fairly new. And so the first thing I would say to you in this room is drop everything you thought you knew about the way God works with you. Because you, some of you have made up your mind. You've been there and you've done that. And so that's not going to work. What else you got? I want you to go back to basics and drop into the core and see what's there. Because some of you have even forgotten because nothing worked. 
Well, crying, you see, I don't meditate because of this or that, or I tried it, or that's not me. Oh, things are different. Real different. Old soul, you're built for this. You're built for this. What brings you to the room? What really brings you to sit in this room for this duration and listen to what some say is a guy in a chair faking it? What brings you here? Now, what is your discernment engine right at this moment? You see, there's been time enough right now for those of the entourage which I bring to sit next to you, to stand behind you, to be in the lap you think is empty. Some of you can feel this, the tingles, the heaviness perhaps of your limbs. We'll do anything we can within the rules we have, a free choice of the human being to let you know we're here. We'll give you synchronicities galore until you realize they're synchronicities and not accidents. We'll make you look at the clock so you see 11-11. <laughs> over and over and over until you choose to decide that's not a coincidence. There's something here, some of you will say, that's as far as we can go. We'll give you, we'll give you the, the signs that you're never alone. That's as far as we can go. You have got to open the box and take a look. If you do, the system of benevolent consciousness, the push and the pull is in your body that will pull you to the truth. Listen, there is no energy in your DNA that pushes you away from truth. Did you hear me? There is no entity on this, on this planet that is an, an esoteric one with any kind of an evil name that is designed to push you away from truth. That is mythology. It is the opposite. Inside you, there is God. And if you look, a system will pull you to it. But you've got to look with purity, not casual. You can't say, well, that sounded good. I like what the guy in the chair had to say. I think I'll try that tomorrow. I'll give it three minutes. If it doesn't work, I'm going to work on something else. Casual intent is not going to get you what you really, really want. There's nothing casual about love. You don't fall in love casually. You either do or you don't, and you know that. The invitation is for you to fall in love with the core, with yourself, the God in you. That's the part you fall in love with. And all the symptoms of being in love will be there. The peace, <laughs> a little bit about the heart loving what's going on. Maybe a little disassociation with 3D. All of those things happen. And you start to feel you're changing. I want you to give it a chance. It's going to change everything for you. I didn't ask you to trust an entity, did I? To ask you to worship anybody? It's time for spiritual common sense. God is inside you. That has been the message of every master who walked this planet. It's the message of the first organized religions on earth. It's still valid. Go find it. My partner returns. And so it is.